coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Here it's the second of this four-game series between the Chicago Cubs and the Pittsburgh Pirates. And that brings up Javi Baez. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Now the one and one pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. Reynolds is under it to make the play on the first out. So in now for Chicago, Jason Hayward. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Shin high fastball that time, ball three. Chris Bryant will be next. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Batting third. Stepping up now, Chris Bryant. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hot shot down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but it gets by the glove down the line. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Batting four. Protector number 40. Wilson Contreras. Into the box, Wilson Contreras. A ball and two strikes. Hey, I love that pitch right there. Better execution after just giving up an extra base hit. Count still at one and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. Took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to 3 and 1. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back-to-back K's with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. The payoff pitch. And another foul ball. And he takes ball four. Now at least they're set up for the force at any base here with two away. Now to the plate, Kyle Schwarber. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. One and two now. Hayward at third, Bryant on second, Rizzo on at first with two down. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. And that's going to be high two and two now. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. In the dirt and block behind the plate. The runners will hold tight, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Here's the payoff pitch. And that's down into left center for a base hit. Hayward scores. Now a third runner heading for the plate. He will score as it's now a 3-0 ball game. That is better. The center fielder, number eight, Ian Hatt. Stepping in now, Ian Hatt. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. That almost left the stadium. That's in the deep seats.
So now to the plate, Jason Kipnis. Breaking ball swung on and grounded to second. Newman's got it. Throw in time for the third out, but it certainly took a while as the inning is finally over. So coming to the plate, Kevin Newman. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the three and two pitch. Here we go. The bouncer to the left side. And there's one away. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. And he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year. Now the 2 1. Waves and misses for strike number two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. But unfortunately, right after shortstop for the second out. Now at the plate, Brian Reynolds. His matchup numbers with Hendricks. He's just one for 13. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, he's digging for second. And he is in the second with a two out double. Batting four. The first baseman. Into the box yeah. now. Josh Bell. Hit down the third baseline. And this gets right through him. And that may be a run. Throw into second. As he arrives at second without a play. As also on the play, a run Batting comes across six. to score. The third baseman. Collins. At the plate now, Colin Moran. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Ball even at two and two. Two out here and a runner at second. Full count now, three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open... Diving effort as it's off his glove. And they will still manage to get him at first. A spectacular all-around play, and the inning is over. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Kyle Hendricks, will begin things here against Jamison Tyone. A one-and-one one count. Here's the pitch. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Reynolds comes on now and he has it one down. The next cub up, Javier Baez. He flew out in his last at bat. A 1 1. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Cub shortstop with a 3 and 1 count. He likely had ball four that time, but couldn't hold back on the swing, so that moves the count to three and two now. Goes the other way and sends it deep down the right field line. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Up next to the count, the right fielder, Jason Stewart. At the plate, Jason Hayward. One and two. One and two. Right side, fair ball down the line. Baez rounds the corner and is headed home. He scores, and it's now a six to one ball game. And he's in safely to third as a run will score on the play as well. Stephen Brault enters from the pen in just the second inning, so they'll hope to get some length out of him and have him stay out there for a while. In now, Chris Bryant. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. At strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Hit in the air to right field. Polanco giving chase. 
He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. Two out, nobody on. Ground ball foul down the left side. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. In there, a base hit. Into the box, Anthony Rizzo. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. A payoff pitch one more time. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Count remains full. The next 3 2. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance though as it landed in the upper deck. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Digging in for his second at bat, Kyle Schwarber. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And now Gracious just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. Now that the center field. Ian. Stepping in now, Ian Happ. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. Back up the middle. A dive and he knocks it down. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get an out now on the play. The second baseman. Jason. Standing in now, Kipnis. Jason Kipnis. And he misses two and one. Three runs already home here. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Left fielder is on the move. And he makes the catch in the corner. Last half of the second set to go. Here's Gregory Polanco. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Kevin Kramer, and he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2-1. and one. All even now, 2-2. Two and two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. On a line, that's a base hit. At the plate now, Stephen Brault popped him up. And Baez will put this one away to retire the side. Digging in now, Kyle Hendricks. Nine, one, and two do up. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. 
And here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. Here's Javier Baez. He doubled earlier in the game one for two to this point. Line drive that's a base hit into the right center field gap. Baez will head for second. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Now batting right fielder. Jason Hayward. To the plate now Jason Hayward. And that misses two and one. One out and a runner on second base. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Frazier will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Digging in once again, Chris Bryant, runner in scoring position with two gone. A ball and a strike now to Bryant. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. A bouncer up the middle. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. Ah, but the throw is well up the line, and he scores easily. Up next to the top, the pitcher, Wilson. Into the box now, Wilson Contreras out of play he got a mistake right there but missed it can't foul that pitch off in a big spot 0 2 count heater caught too much of the zone swung on and chopped up the middle reined in and behind the back he gets his man at second to retire the side wow Stepping in and ready for another shot, Kevin Newman. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And he looks at one in there, 1 and 2. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. At the plate, Adam Frazier. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Two and two to Adam Frazier. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. And here's a good sinker now, but it misses three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Comes with the fastball, but it's outside for ball four. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Ryan Reynolds. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at-bat. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for out number two. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Josh Bell. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. Into the corner and slicing foul. A runner on first with two away. Hit on the ground out to short. There's Baez on to Kipnis at second, and the inning is over. Ready for another shot now. Anthony Rizzo. It was a walk in his last trip. A ball and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. Just off the outside that time. Laid off for a ball.
That's popped up. Moran over to his right. One away. So one away here in the Chicago fourth. And next it'll be the left-handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. The 1-1. One -one is laid off for ball two. Two one pitch is a cut fastball taken for strike two. Here now the two two. A bouncer to the left side and this is going to find its way into the left for a one out knock. So now to the plate Ian Happ. Grounded to third. This could be two. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And there are two away now. And is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Kipnis. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Popped him up. Stallings is there, and the side is retired. Up next for the Buckos, Colin Moran. He'll start things out against Kyle Hendricks as we get the inning underway. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. 3-2 pitch. Hard ground ball to third. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Standing in, Gregory Polanco comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Hit out towards second. Kipnis is there. And that's the second out. At the plate, Kevin Kramer. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One run on three hits and one error in the contest for the Pirates so far. Swing and a line drive. But just fouls as he just misses extra bases. And he lays right, off it to even the count two and two. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. And now the Cubs pitcher, Kyle Hendricks. He'll start off the fifth in this one. The 1 1. He's in there for strike number two. And two and two. Not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on a two seamer running away, but either way, it worked out well for him. That's a well thrown pitch, though. Three and two, full count. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Under this one is Polanco, and he's got it for the first out. Digging in and looking for more, Javier Baez. He's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point. Count still full, three and two. One out, nobody on. He loses him on ball four. Now batting, Jason Hayward. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And now they've got him picked off. And a good decision to throw as he is toast at second base. Now the one and one pitch. Two one. 
Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. And it's belted high and deep into right center. But it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Now batting third baseman, Chris Warner. Into the box, Chris Bryant. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Nick Birdie gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Stepping in now, Wilson Contreras. Hit on the ground to short. Scooped up. Throw on to Bell at first, and the side is retired. Riding in, Jacob Stallings, a base hit in his first trip. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth You're the same way please. he ended the fourth with a punch out one away. Jose Osuna will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Osuna. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Now batter. The so the lineup day. flips over and digging in Kevin Newman. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few A-Bs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. The 1-2. Oh, that's out. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Now the three and two pitch. Hit high and deep to right center. Long run for the center fielder. He can't make the play as it hops over the wall. And that's a break for the defense as it's going to keep the runner from first from scoring. Standing in now, Adam Frazier pulled toward right center field. Hayward is there. Let's see if they test it. And he's not even going to consider it here as he holds tight at third with two away now. Coming to the plate now, Brian Reynolds. One for two, including a double back in the first. Bounce to first. Rizzo was there. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Robbie Erlin gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Erlin, once a member of the San Diego Padres organization, he signed as a free agent with this organization earlier in the season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer-term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one-year deal, and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi-year he's been looking for come offseason. Sliding into the box, Kyle Schwarber trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Looks like he's pitching pretty cautiously right here, but that happens when a guy's three for three on the day. Usually he's a guy you challenge a little bit more, but I guess he's earned some respect in this one. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Around first, digging for two. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. Now back the set of Ian. At the plate, Ian Happ 
Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Now back, second base. Jason. Into the box now, Kipnis. Jason Kipnis. Line toward right center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now back, the pitcher, Kyle. To the plate now, Kyle Hendricks. And there's ball two now. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. Runners are at second and third with one down. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Two away now for the Cubs in the sixth, and with it comes Javi Baez to the plate. Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. Next to bat will be the Pittsburgh cleanup batter, Josh Bell. He's one for two in this one. A 1-1. One, one. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this will be foul. Hit out towards second. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. Runner at first following the error. And that'll give way to the third baseman, Colin Moran. The 1-1. One, one. Left side. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. But they will not get it out on the play as he beats the throw to first. And there are two on to start the inning now. Up next to the pilot. So now to the plate, Gregory Polanco. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. A payoff pitch one more time. He is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. Standing in, Kevin Kramer. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get it. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Seventh inning ready to roll, so that'll bring up Jason Hayward. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. This pitch is popped up, and he'll lunge forward to make the catch for the first out. Now Digging in next will be Chris base. Bryant, and he's got a shot at history here, but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle. A ball and a strike now to Bryant. The count is one and two. Inside, ball two. Bases are empty, one man out. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that same pitch. You could tell he jelly-legged him at the plate a little bit. Froze him, but just missed his own. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Chris Bryant is the second out in the seventh inning. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Reynolds will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Seventh inning, Trevor McGill is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Number 29. Now at the plate, Jacob Stallings. One for two on his line so far in the game. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. 
Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And gone. An absolute bomb. Eric Gonzalez will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number two, Eric Gonzalez. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Now so the pass. Pirates Second batting order thing. turns over and Got set that. to go. Kevin Newman is working Newman. on a one for three thus far. Started go. to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. The three two pitch. Freezes him. A strikeout looking. At the plate, Adam Frazier. 0 for 2 okay. on his line thus far. The left fielder, Adam. The 1 2. Two runs, six hits, and one error in the contest for the Pirates so far. Tough one to call there, but it's ruled just above the zone. And the fastball misses high and away there. It's full three and two. Into right field. That's a base hit. The center fielder, number 10. Brian. And now Brian Reynolds. Line to the right side. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now back, first baseman, Josh Bell. Standing in now, Josh Bell. The bouncer to the left side. Bryant is up with it. On to Kipnis at second, and the inning is over. Michael Feliz comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. All set for the start of the inning. Now at the plate, Anthony Rizzo. He was a ground out victim last time up. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. And when you're already down by a bunch, this is where a guy's got to take some responsibility out there and at least start throwing some strikes. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. So one gone here in the Chicago eight, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Kyle Schwarber. And right into the shift. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here's the pitch. Change up, and that fades down and away, two and two. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Moran takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. Stepping into the box, Ian Happ, three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, so striding in, Colin Moran. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 1 1. Hot shot on the ground is short. Baez fields it cleanly, and that's out number one. 
So digging in now, now Gregory Polanco. He struck out Gregory. swinging in his last trip to the plate. Oh, yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Fastball too high, ball four. Now batting. Runners on first with one down. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Here we go. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Here Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. Now Ready for another chance? Jacob Stallings. He went deep last time up. Yeah, now this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. No reason to sit on anything other than hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. Schwarber is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Stepping in, Jason Kipnis. He's one for four for the game. Two, two, here it is. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. Pulled toward right center field. Reynolds is on the move for it. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now back. So here now the is the pitcher, Trevor Trevor McGill. McGill. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a liner. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. The bat, number nine. Short ball. Javier Baez. At the plate now, Javier Baez. The count now at two and two. Now a hard liner. But this is a foul ball. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Rounded softly down the line toward first. And he won't even try it at second as he flips to the pitcher covering to get the shoer out. Now that Here's Jason Hayward right now. Here. Two hits in four Keep attempts to this point. Three. Fouled off. The one two. Oh, that's up there. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Long throw to the plate. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. He pulls into second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Into the box, Chris Bryant. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Is laid off, and the count runs full. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Cole Tucker will get up off the bench to lead off the home half of the night. And they've certainly got their work cut out for them here, so he'll just need to work on getting aboard.
Two and one. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench as he's aboard to kick off their half of the inning. The batter, the second baseman, Kevin. Stepping in now, Newman. Kevin Newman. Fastball called strike. One and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Swing and a liner. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Rowan Wick comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. So now to the plate, Adam Frazier. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next 3-2. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. A better fielder. Striding in once again, Brian Reynolds. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Popped him up. Bryant shading to his right. He's got it one away. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Josh now Bell. Back. He comes First into this base. appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Bell. The three one. Aye. We got three and two. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Bucks down to their final out now. And that'll bring up Colin Moran. Pittsburgh down to their last strike. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. And he'll put this one away without much trouble. And the Cubs have taken the first two games of this series on the road as this one is over. 13 to 3, the final score. Chicago scored a lucky 13 in this one. Kyle Hendricks takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. Jamison Tyon was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.